continue to bring you the latest on coronavirus in Montana to help keep you informed with the latest numbers, directives, and what they mean for our community. March has brought major changes in the fight against coronavirus. We've seen the number of cases go up across the world and here at home in the Treasure State. As we end the month, Montana now has 198 confirmed reported cases of coronavirus. There are now five deaths. There are two new cases in Cascade County to report tonight. That brings the total to nine. Toole County has six cases with two deaths. Hill County has confirmed one case. Liberty County is now also reporting one case. And remember, the stats we're reporting are coming from the state's coronavirus task force and county health departments. We're working to learn more about the new cases and the fifth reported death. Governor Steve Bullock holding another press conference this afternoon announcing new directives in the fight against coronavirus. The governor says if Montanans are being asked to stay home, they should have a home to stay in. MTN's John Amy has details from the press conference. Governor Steve Bullock announced plans today here in the state capitol during a news conference in which he hopes will help people going through economic difficulties during his stay at home order over the coronavirus outbreak. The governor ordered that renters will not be evicted from their homes or have utilities cut off while enduring economic hardship during the stay at home order. They shouldn't also have to worry about whether they can keep a roof over their heads or if they'll have running water. They shouldn't have to worry about having the heat turned off if they can't pay the rent or make their monthly utility bill. The governor will also use the National Guard to monitor people coming into Montana from out of state to try to stop the spread of the coronavirus. We've also authorized the National Guard to conduct temperature checks in Montana's major airports and major rail stations. They'll also be screened for potential exposure history for travelers arriving in Montana from another state or country at our airports. The governor also addressed his concerns about getting enough supplies and COVID-19 testing kits for the state. I don't want a day to go by without being able to perform tests. In Helena, John Amy, MTN News. And as we're hearing about, there's been some changes for those who are paying rent, things like that. Many companies, including JK Property Management in Great Falls, are doing the best they can by offering different options for their renters. They're asking people who are in these situations to give them a call and communicate the situation they're in. They say, after all, we're all in this together. I mean, and we see it right now, sometimes the very worst circumstances bring out the very best in people. And if we're going to get through this together as a nation, as a state, and as a community in Great Falls, Montana, we have to have each other's backs. Now, if you do call, you will need to provide a few things, a written request for a delayed or partial payment, and when you can pay it, documentation that you have applied for unemployment benefits, and a formal letter from your current employer stating your date of employment status changed, and it was because of the virus. You can also check our website for more details and what the governor's directive might mean for you.